Welcome, sweet friends. It's Ashley Clark with Earth Keeper Yoga, and I'm here in Birmingham, Alabama. I've been away for a bit, and so I am thrilled to bring some of my latest advanced yoga teacher training skills and insights back to the mat to share with you today. Before we get started, I want to let you know that as we move into these darker winter months, my in-person community schedule has changed just a little bit. It's dialed back. So be sure to visit earthkeeperyoga.com to find out where I am and if you're interested in a socially distanced, slightly colder classes that you can just layer to keep yourself warm go ahead and check out my website. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Earth Keeper Yoga. All right, for today's class, I invite you to have your trusty yoga blanket or a beach towel. So sometimes I tell you that it's okay to have a pillow, but for today's class, that won't really work. It would be great under your knees, but you can't manipulate a pillow in the way that I want to use it for today's class. So grab a beach towel, or if you have a yoga blanket, use that. And I do have a, a block up at the top of my mat. That may come in handy for you. You may not need it at all, but it's always great to have it available if you so choose. So grab what you need, and I'll meet you right here. But let's go ahead and start at the top of the mat. Let's just bring our hands in front of our hearts. You can rock back and forth on your feet. Let the jaw soften. And give yourself a nice big deep inhale through the nose. Exhale it out through the mouth. Let everything go. All right, T give, give yourself one more deep breath. Inhale, and exhale, let it go. Go ahead and let those hands come down by your hips. We're going to inhale, lift the arms and the gaze up. And exhale, bring those hands down in front of the heart. Chin bows down towards chest. Use the inhale to let the hands come by the side and then up towards the sky. Deep exhale, bringing it all down in front of the heart. Hands come out. Give yourself two more rounds. Hold it here, one more breath, in and out through the nose. Beautiful, inhale, lift the arms and the gaze. And then exhale, big, big bend in the knees, torso comes to rest on the thighs, give yourself a forward fold. Let the shoulders and everything relax. Head hangs heavy, breathe here, one breath. Inhale here. And exhale. Give yourself a slow rise. We're going to meet back in that mountain. So feeling the feet connected to the mat. Crown reaches towards the sky. Inhale. Reach the arms up over the head. And then exhale. Bring the hands down in front of your heart, but keep your gaze towards me. So once you get there, you're going to bend that right knee so that the ball of the right foot stays on your mat. Check everything that's going on on that left side of your body. So press that left foot into the mat, reach through the crown of your head, and then we're just going to start with those ankle circles. <coughs> so notice if there's any tension in the jaw. Just give yourself one more big round here. And then bring that right foot right where it's touching your left, the inside of your left ankle, and open your right knee so that the right heel stays on your left leg. Ripple up. Hold this here, pressing that right knee open. 
Breathe deep into the heart. Bring that right foot all the way back down to the mat. Shift your body weight over to the right. And we'll do the same thing on the left side. So bending that left knee, left ball of the foot stays on the mat. And just giving yourself a few ankle circles here. So one reason why I'm doing this is because as we're in these colder months and we have the heat going, it's good to keep the joints really lubricated. So I'm working on doing a little bit of that for you this morning. You can stop with the circles, bring that right heel to touch inside of the left, or excuse me, left heel inside of the right leg. Ripple up and then open that left knee. And give it one more. And then we'll rotate that leg back forward, both feet on the floor. Inhale, lift the arms and the gaze. And exhale, bend the knees, bring the hands down just above your kneecaps. We'll set up for standing cat-cow. So take an inhale, reach the crown and the tailbone back, opening through the heart. And exhale to round it in. You've got six or seven more rounds, your breath. One more complete round. And then neutralize through the spine. Go ahead and give yourself another really deep forward fold. So you've got those knees bent. Go ahead and shake out the hand or the head and lift the hands off the floor if they're on the floor and shake out the wrists. And notice if you just gritted your teeth. All right, back to your stillness. And then we're going to step those feet back and make our way right into table. <clears throat> so from here, once you get into your table, you're going to keep the tops of your feet on the mat. I'm going to actually face you so you all can see me better. So we're going to do the same thing with our hands that we just did with our legs in a way. So we're going to take this right hand and we're going to bring it so that the thumb starts to draw up the inside of the left arm, sending that right elbow out to the right and then lift it up towards the sky for the exhale. Bring the arm back down, thread that all the way up that left arm. So you're just moving through a nice little pattern here, circling the arm around and then lifting up towards the sky. Stay strong through that left arm. And give it one more. Bring that right arm down. <clears throat> and we'll do the same thing on the other side. So that left thumb comes to touch the inside of the right wrist. Inhale it up the arm, across the chest, and then open it up behind you. Gaze follows that left thumb. Got two more. And then as you lower that left hand back down to your mat, go ahead and send your hips back. Give yourself just a brief child's pose here, letting everything release down towards the floor. 
Big deep breath into the back body. And we'll move back into our table. From here, take an inhale, send that right leg long behind you, and then exhale it through so that your knee is right under your chest, ankle under knee. When you're ready, we're going to rise up to kneeling crescent. And then check that left knee that you've engaged through that left leg. And then we're going to bring the arms to the collarbones with the elbows bent. So the elbows are out and the fingertips are right in front of the collarbones. Take an inhale, twist over to the right, extending the right, long, right arm, gaze follows. And then exhale, bring it back. Inhale to extend. Exhale to bring it in. Give yourself one more. Beautiful. This time, bring that left elbow down outside of the right knee and extend the right arm long behind you, opening through that right arm. So I'll show you from the side. So the left elbow's outside of the right knee, and then you're going to extend that right arm out where the palm is facing towards your, or out from your left. Gaze towards the thumb. Inhale in your twist. Exhale to come back forward. Hands can come to the mat, and we'll send that right knee back. It may feel really good to shake the hips here. All right. Resetting. We'll take an inhale, send the left leg back. And then bring it through. Once you feel stable, we'll rise up to that kneeling crescent. And you're going to press that right knee into the mat so you engage through that low body. Bend the el or send the arms out long and then bend the elbows, fingers in front of the collarbone. We'll inhale to extend the arm out to the left. Exhale to bring it back. Give it one more. All right, inhale, bring the right elbow down outside of the left knee. Extend the left arm long behind you. Notice if you've gathered a bunch of tension in the neck, see what you can do to release there. Inhale in your twist. Exhale back forward. And then we'll bring the hands down to the mat. Send the left knee back. Bring your hands up towards the top of your mat. We'll move into puppy from here. So inhale up. And then exhale to release down towards the floor. Stretching through those shoulders. Give it one more breath. Inhale, rise up, resetting those hands under the shoulders, and we'll curl our toes, lift hips, find our first down dog. So awareness to the head, neck, and shoulders here. Just letting everything be soft. And 
And give yourself two more breaths right here. Let's make our way back up to the top of the mat and meet together there in a forward fold. And take an inhale halfway, find that long spine. And then exhale to release back down towards the mat. Inhale down low. And exhale, give yourself that slow rise, honoring the low back as always. Coming to rise into Tadasana or Mountain Pose, reaching the crown of the head up towards the sky. Give yourself a breath. Inhale, arms and gaze lift. And then exhale, bring the hands down in front of heart, the heart just like we did before. Keep the gaze forward where you can see me. We'll take an inhale, lift this right leg up, and then step it back. We're coming into crescent legs. So if crescent is too much for you today, we're going to do the same thing we just did from kneeling crescent. You could go back there by lowering that right knee. So give yourself just a moment to feel into your legs so that you can feel nice and stable. And then bring those elbows out, thumbs in front of the collarbones, just like before. Inhale, keep the gaze forward, but send the right arm back. Exhale, twisting back forward. Inhale, open the arm. Exhale, forward. Give yourself three more. And then bring the hands back into prayer in front of your heart. Take an inhale. And then we'll exhale that right elbow over to that left knee. Extend the right leg long behind you. If you're in kneeling, that's fine. Find your twist. Give it one more breath. Inhale in your twist. Exhale back to center. Hands come to the mat. Energy into the ball of the right foot. Let's meet back at the top of the mat in a forward fold. And give yourself a breath here, noticing how open one side of your body feels. Releasing the head, neck, and shoulders. Let's inhale halfway long spine. Exhale to release down towards the mat. Inhale down low. And exhale, slow rise. Here we go, back into mountain. Settling in here, reaching through the crown of the head. Breathe here, one more breath. Inhale, arms and gaze lift. And then exhale, the hands come down in front of the heart. Gaze stays forward. Inhale, the left knee up. And then send it back, finding those crescent legs. Feeling in here, taking a moment. Making sure that right knee is over the heel. And then we'll bend those elbows out to the side. Take an inhale, left arm reaches back. Exhale to bring it forward. And give it one more. Bring the palms back together, tall spine, inhale. And then we're going to twist with that left elbow down to the right knee. Left heel comes towards the back of the mat. Breathe.
Inhale in your twist. Exhale to come back forward. And then the hands come to the mat. Let's meet back in down dog. And give it one more breath. Move through into your plank when you're ready. Always going to a kneeling plank if that's what would serve here. Bring the tongue to the top of the mouth to help you engage through the core and not grit your teeth. And hold it one more breath. Inhale. Exhale, lowering with control, keeping those elbows in close to the ribs. Tops of the feet come to the mat. Release the low body. And then inhale to reach through the crown of the head, lifting into baby cobra. One more breath. Lower your head, press into your hands, and we're going to come through our table. Then reach the hands long. We're going back into that puppy. So inhale here, and then exhale down into puppy. Just stretching a little bit deeper through the inside of the arms and up to the shoulders. Beautiful. Inhale, lift up through the upper body. Reset those palms under the shoulders. Curl toes, lift hips, down dog. Give yourself one more breath. Go ahead and walk feet and hands to the center of the mat. Let's meet there in our forward fold. Take an inhale halfway, find a long spine. And exhale to release down towards the mat. Inhale down low. And exhale, slow rise back into your mountain. Inhale, lift the arms from the hips up towards the sky. And then exhale the palms down in front of the heart, bow chin to chest. Two breaths right here. Fully releasing the exhale. All right. So we're going to spread the knees or the legs wide, and then we're going to bring the heels in, toes out. Go ahead and bend the knees. The hands can stay on the knees. So lower body is in goddess, upper body is relaxed. Hold it here, two breaths, tucking in the tailbone. And reaching the crown of the head. Bend those elbows, bring the fingertips in front of the collarbones. Take an inhale, open over to the right, hold it. Inhale in the twist. Exhale through center. Inhale, open to the left. It's two breaths, we've got this. Inhale. Exhale through center. Go ahead and straighten through the legs, toes towards the long edge, forward fold. Let it all go. You've got two more breaths.
All right, bend the knees a lot. Take an inhale. And then exhale, slowly come to rise. Hands can stay next to the hips. Shimmy those feet together. Go ahead and bring the hands together in front of the heart in prayer. We're going to move right into balance. And our tree pose is our balance today. So today we're actually going to do it where the leg stays connected. And just like we did from the hand rolling up the arm and turning the heel in, we're going to see if we can rise into our tree, keeping the inside of the right leg or the sole of the right foot connected to the left leg as we go up. So take an inhale, move awareness over to the left side, reach through the crown of the head, and do just like we did at the beginning, turning that right knee out first. Now find your tree, avoiding the knee. Breathe. Three more breaths. Lower by dragging the heel down the leg and then turning the right knee in, right sole of the foot comes to the mat. Find a breath in the center. Inhale, moving body weight over to the right, ripple up just like we always do. And then bending that knee, turning the heel, opening the knee. Everything stays connected. And then inhale to drag that leg up the inside until you find where you want your tree to be today. We held this for six breaths. Last one. Let the knee drag back down the leg with control until the ball of the foot finds it. Then the knee can come back forward. Let's center in the middle one breath. If you're facing the side, you can turn back towards the top of your mat. Staying centered in the middle of your mat though. Inhale, arms and gaze lift. Turn those palms out, reach, reach, reach. Find them behind your back, low at the sacrum. Hands can interlace if it feels okay. Open through the heart, lift the chin. Awareness to the tailbone. If you can tuck it in just a little bit to protect that low back, that would be great. Give it one more breath. Inhale. And then bend those knees. We're going back into that forward fold with the hands still connected if it feels okay. Let the arms come up near the head. If you want to add a little side to side sway here, go right ahead. Release the hands down near the hips. And then release the fingertips from one another and let the hands come all the way back down to your mat. Walk your hands forward, feet back, down dog. Give it one more breath right here. On your next inhale, make your way into your plank or kneeling plank, long spine. Tongue back to the top of the mouth just to help engage the core and keep from gritting your teeth. This time, option to move back through that baby cobra or through chaturanga into up dog. Inhale, move through your way. 
We're going to spend two breaths wherever you are. Let your knees come to the mat, sending the hips back wherever you are, and then reach those hands forward. Another puppy. Inhale. And then exhale to lower. Brow comes to the mat. Let everything release. One more breath. Inhale, lift through the upper body. Bring those palms back under the shoulders. And make sure that the knees are under the hips. So be really nice and strong through that left wrist under the left shoulder. You've done this with me before. We're going to move into sewing machine and then hold into thread the needle. So inhale, right arm and gaze lift up towards the sky. Sewing machine, so moving with your breath. Tongue stays on the roof of the mouth. Inhale, lift it up. And then exhale, thread it through. So that right shoulder comes down to the mat, right brow down to the mat, or right temple rather. Reach that left arm long above your head and then let the neck and shoulders relax. Give it two more breaths. Slowly let that left palm come back under the left shoulder. Press in and we'll come back to that table. This time the right wrist is nice and strong right under the right shoulder. We'll take an inhale to lift the left arm. Thread it through on your exhale. And just continue with your breath cycle, pausing at any place that feels really good that you want just an extra breath. Inhale, just a little pause at the top of that breath. And then exhale, thread it through, releasing down towards the mat. And then sending that right arm long above your head. Use the breath to help yourself release here. And give yourself two more breaths. Bring that right arm back under the right shoulder. Press in and bring both hands under the, or you're resetting your table basically. And then swing your feet to one side so that you can meet me and cobblers. Butterflying the legs out, soles of the feet touch. So you could put blocks under your knees here if they don't feel like they could rest down towards the floor, but find some relaxation through the low body. Just letting the legs be heavy towards the floor. Keep the crown up towards the sky. 
Breathe in and out, two breaths. And then we'll take an inhale to lift the arms and the gaze up. And exhale to find that forward fold <coughs> with cobbler legs. Let the hands come to the mat. Keep the spine long, and then if you want a little bit more, you can press those knees down towards the earth. One more breath. Go ahead and walk those hands up. So for this next one, two options. So what we're gonna try to do is make almost like a box with our legs. So I'm putting the left leg on the bottom first. The shin is parallel in between the knee and the ankle. And then I'm gonna try to stack my right knee on top of my left. The key here is to keep the feet flexed, and if there's space in between the right knee and the heel, you can bring a blanket or a block or something other, something else to find that <coughs> squareness so that you're not putting too much pressure on that top knee. So then reach through the crown of your head. We'll send the arms up towards the sky again, and then exhale forward fold. So this gets a little bit deeper into the hip flexor. You may have clenched your jaw. And give it one more breath. Use your hands to walk yourself back up. And we're going to switch sides. So you, if you didn't have a blanket, you could have also used a block there. So make sure that the heel is in line with the knee as you put the, uh, the opposite leg on top this time. Again, just a reminder to keep... The feet flexed, it helps protect the knees. And then if you need something in between space to take up space, grab that for yourself. Take an inhale, lift the arms and gaze rise. And then exhale to find a forward fold. So we don't want to hurt ourselves as always. If it's too much, come out. One more breath. Use your hands to walk yourself back up. And you can remove the block out of the way. If you have a blanket or a towel, keep that nearby. We're going to roll down onto our backs. We're going to keep the knees bent. And we're going to move through bridge, but I'm going to offer it in a little bit different way this time. So right now, relax fully into the mat. Ankles are under the knees. And before you lift up for the first time, I want you to, if you're okay with it anyway, I want you to tilt the tailbone so there's no space between your low back and your mat. So all that curve of your back is gone as the pelvis tilts up towards the sky. Make sure that you've got your shoulders completely pressed against the mat, nice and wide. They're taking up lots of space. And then we'll take an inhale to lift, keeping that pelvis lifted as it was when the back was completely against the mat. Press up as far as you can. Squeeze the knees towards one another. And breathe here two more breaths.
Inhale. Exhale, slow lower. Release fully into the mat. You can let that low curve and the low spine come back. And then send these legs wide so that the feet are on the outside edges of your mat. Bring your arms back into it or into a T. Go ahead and windshield wiper the legs side to side. Give yourself one more round. And then shimmy those feet back in. We're going to reset where we were just a moment ago. So hands come back down, palms face down on either side of the hips. And then find that space by tilting the pelvis up that the low back comes in contact with your mat. Now see if you can shimmy your feet even closer so that the inside of the legs touch. If you find that when you lift this is too much, come back down, spread the legs out just a little bit. Here we go, nice big inhale. Exhale to lift. So squeeze the legs towards one another. Relax the jaw. One more complete breath cycle. Inhale. And then exhale to lower all the way back down. Use some control here. Try not just to plop back down on the mat. And appreciate the weight taking the mat and then, or the, yeah, your mat taking the weight rather. Bring the knees into the chest. Give yourself a little side to side sway. You could even do happy baby here. All right. <clears throat> so we're going to move into a restorative tree almost like you could imagine that you're a felled tree, you've fallen. So this is where either the blanket or a block would come in handy. So you're going to want your blanket where you can um, manipulate it just a little bit. You may not even need it if you have nice open hips, but it's there in case you do. So you've got the blanket close to an, your right arm, your right hand. Extend your legs long down the mat. Left arm can be wherever it's comfortable. So just as we've done a couple of times today, you're going to send those right toes out to the right. Let the right heel come inside, touching that left leg. And slowly let that right heel drag up the inside of the left leg, bringing up as far as feels good in your body. And as that right knee makes its way down to the floor, maybe there's a blanket or a block or something to meet the leg so that as it opens, you can release fully into the mat. A quick body scan from the sole of that left foot all the way up to the crown of your head, seeing if there's anywhere else that you can take up more space here. Keep the breath in and out through the nose. Now 
Give it two more breaths. All right, from here, go ahead and lift that right knee back up towards the sky so that the right sole of the foot is inside of that left leg. And then you can take your left hand down to your right knee. Just slowly let that right knee fall over to the left side of your body. So we're back in a restorative twist here. Make any changes that you need to. Maybe that right arm extends long and the gaze follows back to that right hand. If it's too much on the low back, move that blanket to support you right behind the, the tailbone. Notice if you kept tension in that left hip. Give it one more breath. Move any props out of the way if you use them and roll back onto your back. Right leg extends long. If you did use that blanket or block, go ahead and move it to the left side. Relax fully into the mat. Notice the space in between the shoulders. And then we'll turn that left heel in towards the right leg, toes out to the left. Go ahead and drag that leg up the inside of the right, keeping them connected. And then slowly opening that left knee, finding a place where you can fully relax here. Quick body scan. Give it three more breaths. Let that left sole of the foot come to the mat as the left knee raises up towards the sky. You can reach that right hand down for the outside of the left knee, slowly letting it fall over to the right. And again, that blanket can come right behind the small of the back to give you a little bit of support if you'd like to keep it nice and restorative. Release any tension in the hips. Last breath. Mm -hmm. 
You can slowly unmake this shape and then move into any position, move through anything that you might want here for these last six or seven breaths before Shavasana. And as you make your way into whatever Shavasana will look like for you today, I invite you to come into that posture in the same way that we started our class today, which was to take a really nice big deep inhale through the nose and let it sigh out through the mouth. You can slowly start to bring some awareness back into this space. Start some awareness with your hands and your feet. So wiggling the fingers and the toes, circling the wrists and the ankles. Reach your arms up over your head. Give yourself that full body stretch. And then allow yourself to roll on to one side or the other, bringing the knees up near the chest, letting the spine roll back just a bit. And you can slowly start to make your way back into a comfortable seat when you're ready. We'll meet together with the hands at the heart. And 
And our quote today is from Thich Nhat Hanh, and he says, Sometimes your joy is the source of your smile, but sometimes your smile can be the source of your joy. May you know kindness and may you be kind. And until we meet together again, gratitude for practicing with me. Namaste.